Okay. Hello. Right. I'm in another stab at this, because I tried recording earlier and I got a good 50 minute video about something I'm passionate about, and the file corrupted. And I think it was because I was running a virus scan, and, um, I don't know, I paused the virus scan to record the video before I went out to go watch a film, and, I don't know, it corrupted. And it pissed me off! You all, well, you should know if you've been watching me for a while now, I do not like re-recording things. I hate redoing narrations, I hate going back to visit topics that I've just ranted about, because you lose a lot of the, um, energy and, you know, the sort of, um, enjoyment of it. You know, it's something is kind of lost in translation, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go over a few of the points that I wanted to make earlier, and then since I've already done this, I should be able to actually summarise my feelings a bit better, because it did take me 50 minutes of being distracted fucking constantly to get to my point. So I'm going to start with, um, uh, I start with something, um, mm, mm. yeah, this is a great start, isn't it? Um, I will say, I did a, oh, I know what I started with, I know what I started with, I know what I started with, I started off with a recommendation, um, I'm a man who loves LPs, I love me some LPs, LPs are part of my lifeblood and soul, um, I adore watching LPs, and I'm gonna recommend you one, I've been playing XCOM again recently, I've got, uh, Enemy Within, I would actually quite like to do an LP of that at some point, cause, uh, me, I do love me some XCOM, even though it breaks my balls with, um, a, a Nutcracker, it, it's, it's a really good game. It's not in my top 10 list, but it's a really good game. I might go into why it's not in my top 10 list at some point, but I don't know. Um, and there's a guy who did an LP of it, and if you have no experience of it, then um, it's sort of turn-based strategy game with a lot of sort of micromanagement and stuff. It's really fucking good. And you should go give him a look. So I'm going to recommend an LP to you. I have no idea who the man is. I have never met him. He's not my friend, but he does really good LPs. And I want my viewers to enjoy good LPs. Um, so go look at Zemalf. His name is spelled Z-E-M-A-L-F. If you want a link to his channel, I can put it in the description, I guess. Like I say, I'm not even I'm, I'm not even sub to him, but I do watch his LPs from time to time, and he puts a lot of effort into them. So go watch his XCOM LP. I'm currently watching his uh, modded Fallout 3 role-playing LP, where he sort of actually does proper role-playing in Fallout 3. I'm like, this is really good. So, just giving you a hint on a good uh, LP to watch, because like I say, he puts a lot of effort into his stuff, and um, he deserves the views, quite frankly, from as far as I'm concerned, at least. Don't fuck up. I'll fucking kill you. I will find your family, uh, open broadcaster software. Loses a lot of that, doesn't it? Showdown is being very slow. Very slow indeed. I wonder if the server restarted. Oh, oh, be a bit awkward. Um, second thing, I suppose I didn't actually talk about this at all, because I went straight to my topic. Oh, there we go. Um, I just went to go see the Inbetweeners movie. If you're American, I doubt you know what the Inbetweeners is, um, although my friends did tell me they did an American version of it. I don't, uh, it's basically like four doddery school, or uh, sort of like, um, really awkward, like teenagers who are in uni go to Australia, and it has no story and it has no real connection, it's just a bunch of events that make no sense, but it takes the piss out of a lot of things, and it is genuinely funny. It is 100% not my bag. Um, I kind of grew out of that, well, not grew out, that's kind of a bad way of putting it, but my like on that kind of changed after a while. It's sort of like American Pie, but a lot funnier. So, it's personally not my bag, but I did laugh at it, so it succeeded 100% in what it does. So, yeah, the In Between Us 2 movie, go give it a watch, I guess, if that's your bag. But yeah, it's not my bag. I don't like dumb, immature comedies that are cringe worthy. Like, I spent the entire movie just going, oh, God, no, stop, please. But it was funny. So, I don't know. If you like cringe worthy comedies, if you like seeing people take one extreme to the next, then by all means. But it's, I don't know, I found it funny. I can't complain. Anyway, so that's that out of the way. Uh, next, we'll just go have a look at the team. I changed it slightly. I've got a Dragalgy there now. Dragalgy's okay. It's alright. This team still isn't doing well. Uh, I did get to number one again. 
and then the next day someone immediately overtook me and I seem to be going from periods of I'm either kicking complete ass or I'm shitting a hole right down to the bottom of the leaderboard so that's kind of how Sheridan's going for me right now again that's why I'm trying to get into XCOM trying to vary it up a bit so I can get away from this it's pain I need to go do more passerby battles I enjoy those I have cool interesting Pokemon Ugh, I need to get back into that actually anyway um, as I said, I did have a topic, and I will uh, go into topic. You're going to disconnect? You're not going to disconnect? All right. Um, I'll try not to get too distracted. I do have the points kind of in my head. Um, one video series that I started watching again, I watched it like a couple of years ago. I started watching some of their stuff again, was Extra Credits. I'd assume a few of you know what it is, but it's basically it's like a show where they love games and they talk about games and like sort of the background games, not like games as an entity, but they talk about parts of games and like what makes a game and they have like game dev history so they can go into a bit, they can give a bit more insight, um, which is cool. But what they did was they talked about Spec Ops The Line and I remember watching the videos a couple of years ago, but I watched it um, yesterday and it gave me more food for thought. Um, oh god, Mono Dark, eh? That's quite interesting. It gave me a bit more food for thought on a few of the things that they touched on. And I'd quite like to go into it for you now. Um, they do, like I say, they did a couple of videos. Because again, Spec Ops The Line is a game that deserves your money. If you do not have Spec Ops The Line, go get Spec Ops The Line. It's on sale, on Steam, right now. £4. Go download it. Alright? Or I'm going to add you to the list of people to hunt down along with Open Broadcaster. And Kevin Bacon. He keeps making those fucking EE adverts. I don't like them. Kevin Bacon is pissing me off. He needs to stop it. You are going to have player off. There is no way you don't have player off. Fuck you, Lipard. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's a game you need to go play. But the extra credit guys made a uh, interesting point in uh, the first of their double video thing about Spec Ops The Line. Which is a, it has a truly amazing story. Like, I just sold, basically sold the idea of it to a friend of mine just now. He was like, should I get it? I'm like, yes. The gameplay is not good. It is not good. But the story is worth it. Like, when I bought the game, I watched it because a review Yahtzee did um, on Zero Punctuation. And again, I wasn't in the mood. For, I, I I was completely out of like third-person shooter, gung ho shit. The only two that I really like now or remember fondly, Gears of War One and Army of Two. That's it. Um, oh, okay. I don't think so. I think you should fuck off, Lightbar. No, <laughs> no, go away. Okay, that's interesting. Like I say, I, when I went into it, and you know, like I say, I I just come off the back of you know sort of depression. I I'd had enough of sort of psychological experiences, and yet again, so like I say, I went into this not really liking the gameplay style itself, and not really looking for that kind of experience. And it's number five on my best games ever list. It managed to overturn all expectations, and it was fucking 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 amazing. So buy it. I swear to God, like legit, you won't like the gameplay, even if you are a massive third person shooter fanatic, but plow through it, because it's worth every moment. Super serious. I sell, I try and get people to buy this game whenever I can. But anyway, one thing that the extra credit guys pointed out um, was that the gameplay was a service to the story. Basically, the story is. Well, the whole overarching point of the story is that y you're, you, the player is a monster. They play these third-person shooters where they go around, they shoot the Taliban, they shoot people, and it critiques you on it. It says, why do you do these things? What are you playing this game for? You don't even enjoy the gameplay. Why bother playing it then? Why are you doing this? You're just killing people for no reason. Why are you looking to see the protagonist just get you know, more and more just sort of brutalized in from a psychological standpoint. What are you doing, you monster? So it's that kind of shtick. Basically, a very heavy psychological experience, and it basically just takes you and pounds away at your bollocks. And 
it's really good. It's it's like XCOM, but XCOM does it with difficulty. Like, Spec Ops Alliance just makes you feel like a fucking monster. But it does it so well, you have to play it. Please, just go buy it. Honestly, I barely ever talk about games apart from Pokemon. And legit, this game is... It, it's brilliant. It's all I can say. It, it's fantastic. It needs to be played. It really does. Bastiodon. Eh, Murkrow will die, I think. No, I won't. Why don't you die? Yeah, <laughs> gonna be well cheeky. Give me a minute. This is gonna be funny. You're gonna love this. Go on. Go for the fun. Come on, it's gonna be good. Uh, there it is, there it is! Bah! <laughs> Twat. I love you, Lumberry Pangora. Anyway, so that's kind of the game. But the point that they made, which is an excellent point, but kind of brings up a problem for me, is that the gameplay is basically supposed to be a critique of the third person genre itself and again a critique of you the player it's basically saying why are you playing this if you don't like the gameplay and again it's a question that I faced when I played it it's sort of like this is really unenjoyable why am I doing this I don't know maybe I should think about this but the, my problem is is that the gameplay really is quite bad it's quite a slog, there's nothing really that, it doesn't bring anything new to the table. It is legit, just as drip dry, what the fuck are you doing? It is just as drip dry, sort of copy paste, third person shooter as you can get, but worse. It's like a legit worse um, Gears of War Army of Two. Uh, but again, they said that it, the, the bad gameplay was again meant to be a critique, and it was done in service of the story. You're, you don't enjoy the game, so why are you still playing it? Are you playing it so that you can see the main character just descend further and further into insanity? But again, I have a couple of problems with that, and it's going to kind of come under two points. Um, alright, bye. Jake is the best, you're really not, are you? Is that multi jake I wonder. <laughs> if it was, he probably would have said, Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Nah. If it is, then sorry, Jake. <laughs> My bad. Um... Now, the only way this is kind of acceptable, and the point that they made was that, what, you know, it's either they didn't have the budget to compete with your bongo third-person shooters, and so instead of trying to compete and just investing in gameplay over story, they thought, instead of trying to compete, let's not compete. Let's try and critique it. Let's do something different. A lot of hand-waving today. When I get really passionate about something, there's a lot of hand-waving! So, you know, he, they said that it was a, you know, they used the bad gameplay and the fact that they couldn't compete as a way of competing in their own way, as a way of saying, this is bad, this is why you're bad for liking this kind of thing. Or not bad for liking, well, you actually kind of is, yeah, you're bad for liking it. So, that's kind of the route they went down. Um, and... That's that, yeah, that. That's their view, and I think that is a perfectly legitimate way of looking at it. I can't really fault that. Um, yeah, I probably should have figured that, but uh. good luck, Spiritomb. <laughs> oh God. So that that's option number one of what might have happened. And again, if you look at it from that point of view, then I can understand it. It makes a bit more sense. And that's fine, I guess. But then, there's option number two. Which is that they th intentionally made the gameplay worse to um, sort of bring out the story and point in the direction of what they were trying to sort of say like point in the direction of their critique so the gameplay is bad yet you're still playing it why are you still playing it i have a massive ginormous problem with the second one if it's the first one if they genuinely didn't have the budget and they use what they had in an innovative way which might well be the case because um 
So one of the nice things about the graphical detail is the graphics are not especially good, but what they did was a little bit cleverer than that, um, which is that instead of trying to make the graphics look super realistic, they put like sort of um, decals on your guy. They made him look like more of a monster as the game went on. So the game didn't look good, but the art design was good and it was clever and it was used in an innovative way there are like parts of the game that do look good they look very pretty but they did it in a different way to try and um, bring out different qualities of the game and I like that I kind of have to stay in don't I right uh, good luck bastard <laughs> Please be the physical set. Please be the fear. Ah. Actually, what am I talking about? I don't have to give a shit about you. Oh god. Oh. Oh, I was gonna go toxic there for a minute. That could have been really bad. Okay, that's put fine. That's gone well. That's gone well. I'll take that. 100% I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> that could have gone poorly. Although I did lose my Bastion on and he does have a mess Brits, but what, one one problem at a time I suppose. Um, I'm gonna commit, yeah, Haunter will kill it. Haunter will kill it. It will kill it. Fuck off, Gorobis. Mm, I should probably go Sludge Wave. I'm going to go with Energy Ball just because I need to make sure this thing dies. Kind of how this shit works. There you go. Um, so yeah, like I say, if it's number one, uh, or the first option, and they genuinely used an innovative way of planning around the lack of money, cool. 100% 100 grand. I have even more respect for it. But again, what they did, or what the extra credit guy said, was that, or extra credits guys said, was that the gameplay was used in service of the story. One, that's quite an innovative way of doing things, and something you really don't see. Like, you really don't, do you? Think about it. You, you barely ever say that was the case. Most of the time, you know, sort of, it's a balance, or, you know, the gameplay will drive it, and the story is just kind of there, being a cool dude, chilling out, whatever. And I, again, I have no real problems with that. Oh, thank you, wheezing. Oh, get done, you slag. Mmm. Nice. Wheezing. Nice. Can I get T-spikes? Can I get T-spikes? Can I get T-spikes, best Brit? Can I get T-spikes? Go on, be a defensive set. Be a defensive set. Go on. Pretty please. But yeah, if it's the second option, that's where I have the major problem. Like, I really, do. I have a ginormous problem with that. Humongous. Because I think that if you're going to make a game, you should make it to the absolute best of your ability. I know there are plenty of sort of, you know, bits and pieces of evidence that suggest otherwise and suggest that most game devs are like, well, make it as good as we can, meh. You know, you've got your right to hells. You've got your uh, colonial marines. There are many examples where the developers will be like, whatever, people play this shit, don't care, fuck them. They can go die in a hole, whatever. There is an awful lot of that. But if you're going to go to that much effort to make such a brilliant game, and to critique an entire genre of games and the people who play them, you can't just get away with aping something badly. The way I talked about it uh, in the video I tried to record before was that have any of you seen those fucking shitty epic movie, like the epic movie or scary movie? Scary movies were, uh, scary movie franchise was a little bit funny, a little bit, but epic movie was legit like, hey, this thing was in another movie. Let's put enough. <laughs> that's not funny. That's not clever. That's just thick incredibly, incredibly thick. I don't like that. As I'm sure you can tell. Bye, Jagalji. Have fun under that boss. <laughs> I kind of have nothing else to do. 
Oh, yeah, 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 more of that, more of that, more of that. AB Kangaskhan is getting really sort of um, gung-ho in its old age. It is a bit, I know, it's kind of odd. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. No, you don't. You don't fuck Spiritomb. Spiritomb fucks you. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, shit. Oh, well played. Fair enough. Um, see, I like it. Again, it's like the epic movie thing. It's just they point at a thing and they laugh, but they always do it way worse. It's just like if you can't even replicate it badly, then you just shit. Maybe that's part of the joke in the scary movie and epic movie thing, but it's not funny. You know, it's just dull, lowbrow, and shit. And that's kind of my point. If they're gonna try and critique something, and they're gonna sort of copy something to make a point about it, then they should copy it well. And I don't mean they have to make something better than your Gears of War, your Army of Two, you get what I'm getting at here. They need to make something that's a, that at least stands up to it. And that's where the game kind of falls down for me. It realistically should be number one on my list. Halo 3 should just be number two. Spec Ops The Line should just be there. Just like, yeah, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to be cool. And if the game had held up as a game, maybe it would have done. But again, the gameplay for me is that bland, that cookie cutter, and that shock. Just, oh. The... It really does drag it down. The controls feel clunky. There are a few minor glitches. There are cover problems. It just doesn't really function as a thing to critique it. I mean, again, like, the story can go in a bubble over here. Like, it fucking critiques everything. It critiques the whole mindset that you play these things in. It looks at you, says, your shit, fuck you. Yeah, it, it, it really is a standout just piece of genius. But, you, you can't really, it, it just, the gameplay just drags it through the mud quite a bit. I'm going to be a bit cheeky here, because I want T-Spikes now. I should probably save Weezing for the Leafeon, but I'm not going to. So, I'm just going to get up T-Spikes now, because everything he's got is on the ground, and chip damage is chip damage. So, I'll take it, quite frankly. Yeah, um... I think I played this guy before because I remember the team. I believe he's got Encore, uh, Sunny Day, Knock Off, and U Turn. The usual shtick. The usual shtick. So let's Storm Throw and hope he doesn't have Play Rough. Because hmm? he's got a Sunny Day team. Although the Rhydon's ride been becoming very common lately. It's cool. I mean, a lot of it's Double Dance Rhydon, and I'm like, I like it. One, because Haunter can win, because Energy Ball. But two, it's awesome. Um, yeah, like I say, if they're gonna have a go at something, they're gonna have a go at it well. It's gotta be, it's gonna stand up on its own merits. And again, it's, the, like, the gameplay isn't horrific. I'm not talking about some horror story where you throw up because of how bad it is. But it is certainly not great. It certainly has a just ginormous plethora of problems that drive me, quite frankly, fucking mad. Again, the game, it just needs a bit more polish, just needs a bit of this. And maybe, again, that's where they, they didn't have the right amount of money argument comes in. And it could well be a very valid one. But, again, there's always that little niggling part, since they talked about it, there's always that little niggling thing in the back of my head that says maybe they didn't make it to the best of their ability. Maybe they skimped in a few areas. And that kind of just gets me. They made something intentionally bad to make a point. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into it too hard, but again, it's a game about looking into things really hard and looking at yourself and thinking about the way you view things. Your viewpoint and standing on the world. I'm going to go for a crunch. Lovely. Go and actually, you can go into anything he wants. This is going to hurt reasonably hard. Okay, I'm fine with that. His son is slowly wasting away. And let's face it, Pangoro really ain't doing shit. Really ain't doing shit. 
So, hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and die. <laughs> uh, I could try and get clever with it, I suppose. Yeah, let's get clever with it. May as well see if I can save Pangoro. It might be helpful against the uh, right on. But yeah, so that's kind of where my problems lie with that argument. I, I could be wrong. I could be overthinking it ginormously. But if you, uh, I don't know. Again, it, it's kind of the thing that really frustrates me because it really. It's something that really doesn't drag down the entire game. And again, I'm not dumping on Spec Ops, like, from that point of view. Again, it's an amazing game. I've already told you to go out and buy it, so go out and fucking buy it. It's like four quid. There is no excuse for not owning that game unless you have no internet connection. In which case, how exactly are you watching me? But yes, there is no excuse. It is worth your time and effort to play through. Oh, fuck me. Bugger off. Bloody executor. <sighs> You're gonna have knockoff as well, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Pangoro will have to do. I think, yeah, this is his death order moment. Yeah. Get a bit more chip damage. Nice. Nice. Let's go for a cheeky storm throw. Nah. Yeah, I think so. Ah. <laughs> perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from. I suppose I'm not really sort of saying that Spec Ops is really bad because of it. I'm mainly using Spec Ops as a example, if you will. Because, again, I think it really does raise quite an interesting discussion. And, again, I'm actually talking about something I actually know shit about. What a radical fucking concept that is. Yeah, it's not the uh, sort of discussion of whether it, you know, sort of, <sighs> okay, what I'm trying to actually get at here, oh god damn it, you actually did that, interesting, I'm going to protect all of you, it, you know, I'm not saying Spec Ops is bad, it's not a discussion about whether Spec Ops is bad, because it's not, it's very good, it certainly deserves your playtime, it really does, please, just go fucking play it. What is more of a discussion is, since, you know, story and gameplay usually kind of meld together, you know, gameplay kind of carries the story along a bit, or the story is kind of used to reinforce the gameplay, or one's used to reinforce the other, is making a, a gameplay worse okay if it sort of brings more sort of agency to the story? And... Again, like, m part of my problem is that one thing I want to say is that, well, it's a game, of course that's okay, it's a, a game, whatever, fuck it. But, well, no, I mean, rather, it's a game, it shouldn't be okay because you want to play a game to have fun and enjoy yourself. But on the other hand, that's th missing the entire point of the entire experience. You don't play Spec Ops to have fun. In fact, you could really look at it as a psychological horror. So that's kind of where I'm coming from on that. Like, you know, just use, like, take, a, taking something that I thought about from Spec Ops and just sort of applying it as a discussion, really, which is that, again, if the gameplay is used in service of the story, is it really okay to make that gameplay worse to serve the story? And I, again, I think this is an interesting, in, uh, interesting discussion. And again, I'm actually talking about something I actually know shit about. Like, I'm not talking about Gaza or you know the, the Gaza-Israel conflict, or the Hamas or whatever, or you know, like terrorism and world politics and shit like that. I'm actually talking about shit I have a reasonable understanding of, to what I would term a reasonable understanding. Ah, uh, get out. Oh, or, or not. Or not, apparently. Why would you go stone as that? What? I actually haunt her. Fair enough. Fair enough. You did it again. You did it again. Why? It's stone miss. Come on, man. Unless he's locked into. Oh, he 
can't. No, he went EQ. He went EQ. Oh, I see what he's doing. Ah, that's clever. Uh, under you go, Dragology. Under you go. Because I don't need Dragology. So yeah, I'd quite like to hear opinions on this. Again, I, games are something that I'm very passionate about. I've been using games to hide behind shit quite a lot of my life, and again, it distracted me quite well, and I just generally enjoy them, and I think they're, they are things that deserve a lot of respect. But again, this is a discussion you never get in another industry. I can't think of a parallel to this discussion, which is that, again, is it okay to make your game worse to serve the story? And I really can't say yes. Like, I really can't. And all the reviewers tend to agree. The combat is just boring sludge. And again, you, you can say, you know, that's part of Spec Ops. That's part of the point is trying to reinforce you with. It's like, why do you play these games? They are boring sludge. They're just repetitive shooting galleries. They're crap. They're boring. They're stupid. But if it's if the game is purposely worse or made purposely worse to reinforce that point, I don't know. I'm really going to lose because Showdown disconnected. I don't know why it's disconnected. Come on! Why are your servers so shit? And why is Zone Alarm so fucking crap? Don't tell me to go get a new antivirus. I actually like Zone Alarm as a thing to keep my computer safe from viruses. Like, I'm down for that. It does its job as an antivirus really well. It's like, what it, what it is like, it's a really fat bouncer, but it's a fat bouncer that kind of goes into your fridge, it rummages through, steals some things, looks over your shoulder and goes, oh, hey, what you do? How you do? Do you need any help? What are you doing? Do you want to explain it to me? Uh, can I have a look? Okay, I won't have a look. Look, look, no, no, I still have time. There's still hope! Thank you. Thank you. Sunpai noticed me. Cool dude. <laughs> Respect. Respect. Usually the timer would be on and I would have lost. But yeah, I'd quite like to hear your thoughts on this again. This is something I kind of feel like I have a reasonable amount of experience and something I feel like I could talk about with some confidence. Um so I get, I'd really just like your opinions on it, because I think it is a really interesting discussion to be had. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It, hmm, I think that will work fine. I could go into Scarfed Haunter, but again, I'm not quite ready to risk that. I know I can outspeed Executor in the sun, because Executor is cool like that. <laughs> oh shit, you have- oh shit, you have Soccer Punch. When? Why? How? What? Fuck me, he just won. When did you get that? So you don't- wait. It doesn't have Encore anymore. Fine, GG. Right, okay. Okay. Did he go on call? I could have sworn I saw him do it. I played this guy before and I remember him having on call. I. Yeah! Did the Lipon ever use Sunny Day? No, the Ooxie did. And the guy cheekily put Sunny Day on other things and left his Lipon to on call shit. Okay. Fair enough. This is kind of how Showdown's going for me right now. Oh well. Evil! Shit happens, I'll have one more battle. So yeah, as I say, I'd quite like to hear your opinions on that. Because I, I can't really think of any other place that it could really be applied. Maybe you've played games where the story is that sort of powerful and influential, but again, I've, you've, I've never heard in my life of a game that sacrifices gameplay to promote the story and sort of the um, the things it makes you think 
and the way it sort of accentuates these things. It's a very interesting idea, but I don't know, I just... Again, it just sort of comes back to the whole epic movie argument, which is sort of like, if you're just pointing at something and laugh, you're not being, you know, clever about it, you're just being dumb. It, admittedly, it does have clever things to say, and the story reinforces those points, but if the game itself is not interesting to play, holy shit, you've seen this lag. Oh god, it's my fucking computer. Ooh, okay. Fucking hell. Why do you mean taking too long to code? Okay, I think I'm actually gonna stop this before the thing dies. I hope that hasn't corrupted it again. I was in a really good sort of vibe with this one. Oh, right, I see! Steam! Oh, you picked the perfect fucking time to update a game I don't even like! <laughs> Fuck you, Steam! It's been sitting there queued for fucking ages, and you pick now? To have your moment? If that's fucking Jip the recording, I'm going to kill something. I'm going to stab something. Really hard. Because I, I felt good about this. Oh, you prick! Clever bastard. Clever, clever, clever bastard. Fine then, I will take this opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks. I'm surprised he didn't have Pain Split actually, that would have made a lot of sense. Please don't die recording. I hope you can all experience this! I want you to be able to experience this. I don't like having to do re-records. Ah, I think I can live this. Yes, I can. Fucking hell, this guy's team is offensive, isn't it? Jesus! Jesus, the SDR Maldo, uh, that's ballsy. I'd be quite tempted to leave Spiritomb in here, but I don't have to! <laughs> no, Swellow, you have nothing to hit me. There is not a single thing in your mood pool that can hurt Bastion on, apart from natural gift. Does it get natural gift? I think it does, but he just used Toxical, so he has nothing! Nothing. You turn out. Leave Bastiard on B. The big shield face doesn't give a fuck about you. Although you do look really awesome and green. <laughs> I don't know if I breed a swallow though. I don't know if that's my kind of bag. I mean, I breed a swallow, but it's shiny. I think it's a little bit too sort of low key for that. I'm probably going for like a Stantler. Ursaring is something I really want to do. But I have no set that I really like with Ursaring. It's not a great Pokemon. Although I do remember Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa was cool. I like Teddy Ursa. Hmm. I'm gonna protect to see what you do there, Slick. Dunno. Let's see if we can live a Giga Drain and Toxic. No. No, we cannot. Um. Right. Okay. Oh, well. So there you go. That was the video, pretty much. I, I managed to pare this down a bit. I got to, like, 50 minutes of discussing this. Like I say, I think it really is an interesting discussion. I don't know. Maybe a lot of you won't really feel sort of bothered about this. In fact, a lot of you aren't massively bothered by my topics. But I do think it's something to think about. Because again, games matter quite a lot to me, but it really is a very interesting thing. Because I, again, I do think Spec Ops story really is good, and while I dislike the gameplay quite a lot, I will admit it does serve the story in the point it's trying to make. But is making the gameplay worse to serve that worth it? Again, I could be entirely wrong. I could be massively overthinking this, and it may well just be that they really didn't have the money to compete in the way they wanted to. And if that's the case, well, I can't really fault them. I mean, the gameplay is shoddy, but the fact that they use the graph, the, the art design so well, and um, 
sort of just the way they applied themselves, I can't really fault it, but there's that niggling little doubt. It's an idea I gave myself. It really is. But there's just that tiny little bit of doubt that just makes me think, I don't know, if, again, if they did the best they could with the things they had on hand, then it is a true triumph, and I respect it even more. I wouldn't put it any higher on my list either way, but I would respect it massively. But if it's there and its function is to just serve the story, then I do lose a lot of respect for it. That's just kind of the way I look at it. Again, I'm not very happy about the way my brain took that direct, to, went in that direction, but it is a valid point, and again, I think it does raise a really valid argument. So I'd, I'd quite like to see some stuff like that. In fact, I'd quite like to see extra credits have a go at that. Again, th we're talking about people who are far more intelligent than I am, and know a shit ton more about the industry than I do. So I think it's, I think it'd be worth talking about, because they can probably talk about it way fucking better than I ever could. But yeah, so that's kind of my point. So, I do kind of want to stop this once this is done. Because I don't want it to be corrupted. Oh, wheezing. Well, you came and you slodged on a gibby. But I love you a lot. Oh, wheezing. Because you... Uh, uh, can't... I don't know. I love wheezing. I'm going to make free wheezings. It's going to be so cool. I've got them all bred. Just need to EV them now. Yeah, GG to you too, buddy. Like, you can do no wrong with a wheezing. Just, ah. Oh. Wheezing is slightly below the line of Spec Ops. Just slightly. I hold Spec Ops higher, but I do love me some wheezing. It is starting to get close to sort of that Gera level of... It can really do no wrong. I really like it. <laughs> It just, you can apply it in so many situations, and fuck, if you really... New account on what? What's your... Dentricon? I don't even know what that is. Is he on the ladder? Am I missing something? Is he actually like number one? Look at the Deej die, or Deej day, or die, Deej test. Ah, oh, Queenie's back up. Where am I? I'm 17th. This isn't good enough. Yeah, Aquajet Breloom is the guy that randomly decided to, uh, to overtake me. You saw me in the rank one. See? Proof. Proof. Chat. Scroll up. The man saw me at rank one. I've hit it twice and I never took a photo of it because I feel slightly disappointed in myself. So. Dentro. De yeah. Dentrothorn. Or uh, Dentricon. Cool dude. As I say, he's pointing out my team's a bit purple. Which it is, but I don't know. Poison Steel works quite well. I quite like Trick Allergy in there, because everything else I tried, I tried an Assault Vest for Alligator. It's fucking awful. Fucking awful. It's so bad. It, it made me ill. 
because it was shit. Oh well. Anyway, um, yes, Dentrethorn, cool dude, cool dude. Anyway, um, right, I'm gonna stop this now, and I hope it works. So, um, if this does work, please don't dick me. I really enjoyed this. I love talking about games, but I never get worked up about games because I watch a lot of game commentary, and so all the people get worked up for me, like Jimquisition and. Uh, zero punctuation and extra credits, they all make far more interesting points in a far more interesting way than I ever could. Ever. But for once I kind of stumbled on a topic that I don't know if it's ever been covered. Maybe it has and I'm... Uh, someone's gonna be like, hey I talked about that five years ago, old man. This is like, oh. So, maybe. But, I don't know. I just... I thought it was an interesting idea, and again, any excuse to talk about Spec Ops The Line is worth talking about, because ooh, it really is that good. Again, the gameplay drags it down, but the gameplay serves the story, and there's that little thing, I can't, just can't get away from it. I can't just detach myself from that leech and just say, yeah, you know what, it serves the story, it helps make its point, it's fantastic, brilliant, 100% fa brilliant. It, it, it wouldn't go up in my book, because again, I don't really like the gameplay style to begin with. But, I at least, I, again, I like Gears of War 1, I like Army of 2, I, it should at least be functional if it's going to make a point. It's kind of where I'm coming from, because it really is very clunky. All the review is just like, it's really clunky, nothing new is added, which again, may be another part of the point, but... I don't know. It does what it does brilliantly, and yeah. Although another point that they did make, which I completely forgot to make, was um, someone, uh, 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 one of the accountants was like, hey, put forced multiplayer in this, and all the reviewers you know, just agree in one massive go that the multiplayer is just shit. It's really bad. So maybe the fact it's got multiplayer in it and a forced co-op or like a random sort of force shoved in co-op mode with like four maps may have sort of taken away from the gameplay but again this is that little leech it's just there like num 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 I'm gonna numb on your you, the bad thoughts you don't want to think about it's just whatever anyway I've said my piece I've talked about something that I genuinely enjoy and I swear to god if this fucking thing fucks up again I'm going to kill something um I don't know how the drop frame thing is going to look. I hope it doesn't look too terrible. But again, you know what? You know what? You see this, Nozgov? Fuck that game. It's boring, it's buggy, and it's like an open a or a early access free to play game. It's not good. Unless you, I oh know, you might play it. I tried it once and I was like, meh. Whatever. I'm going to shut up now. Um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Give me some good comments and maybe go see in between us. I don't know. And check out Zamalf. He's actually really good. He can do better LPs than I ever can. See you guys in a bit.